Hey there, it's Patmos, and welcome back for the second episode with our game in End Zone 2. We have our small little settlement here. We have room for a couple more people. We can have 65 right now. But yeah, we do need more workers. We're completely out, and we have to keep balancing our stuff here. So let's see. Where are we, going? we also have a new car here. Let's see what it can find. Can we it find found a new zone? A new zone. Yes, let's see. We got clay here, one swamp and one fertile soil. So that's nice. Seems to be a nice zone. It's not too big, but we could use that for some farming or whatever. On my way. So yeah, that's that's a good one. Let's keep driving around here. See what we can do with these quests as well. I'm at the wheel. Uh, right now, I think we just have to wait a little bit for um, all the stuff to, to actually come into the village so that we get more workers in there. And until then... Clear. Just doing some scouting around can be a very good thing. Let's loot these ruins now that we pass by them. There we go. Uh, let's go All to clear. this factory. Let's start an expedition at the factory because factories these victory are grounds very are less damaged than the rest of the wastelands. Let's see what we can find here. Oh, yeah, I can do it. I oh, have to go up the ladder first. Then we can take this barrel. We might have to take that ladder Looks with us. That could work. Uh, let's go down. Let's see, there's probably an axe. There's an axe here. So yes, Maybe we can still good. put it to good use. I think so. Or at least I hope so. Um We might be able to take this ladder with us. I'll do it. Yes, no, we can go up it. Uh let's go down first. Let's go check everything that's down here. So we have the container. We can take these planks to bridge a gap if we have to. Oh, I think I have an idea how I'll to pack that to get in let's get these planks there we go let's get up the ladder now and then we can probably bridge this gap with the planks yep yeah. be interesting there we go let's go here from here maybe we can get to the other side somehow no not maybe I'll we can do. actually get to the other side let's open this up let's see what's in here oh this old save yeah we have a lockpick so yeah we could take the stuff out of that Our we got a knowledge point for it learn a thing or two from them uh, yeah, I'll let's get do this it. dumpster. Oh, that puts us at 100%. Wow, we already got everything from this place. That's real let's nice. Go. Let's head back. Then once we're across, yeah, let's take this with us. So, yeah, We'd better take this along with us again. Let's go down to Done. the ladder. Uh, I'm probably going to leave the ladder because I don't think we can take it now. Um, but, yeah, see, we can take one more thing. So let's bring the axe and, of course, bring whatever resources we can. Iodine, nice. Let's end the expedition. We can pick up the rest I'm later. I'm just going to send him home so he can get all the stuff there. That's great. Uh, this running. car is not going to do any other stuff than uh, recon right now. All right, that worked. So we got some nice new goodies for our town. We have our town here. Everything is still functional. We have two villages to spare now, which is also interesting. But I do think we have to start expanding our town and do some different things. And one of the things we have not done yet is go into research. Now here we have a research tree. We have three specific parts, which is economy, ecology, and society. You have to open up additional researches, and then you have to actually start doing those researches. Opening up a research tree now requires us one knowledge point. We have five, so we can basically open them all up. Then we can start to do some research. Now, if we want to go to the next tier, you can already see we need two research points. We only have two left right now, so we're not going to do that. But if we, for instance, want to get to clay, we have to research it. Now, we can click it. We can see what it's going to cost us, the time it will take. So let us research clay. And by that, we're going to start with the tier one research. Just see whichever we can do. We can already see for these two, we need bricks. So we're going to have to get clay, then get the bricks going. Start that up, up so that we actually get that. And that way we can start to uh, grow our town in that way, making sure that we uh, do a nice job in that aspect. All right, let's keep up the work by getting more workers into different jobs. I think we have most things covered right now. Everything's in the green, which is a very good thing. I like that. Um, now the question is, do we have everything already set up for um, the tailor and stuff? Now we do have a plantation. So that works. Uh, here we have the plantation. Do we have the weaving mill? But I don't think we have a cloth maker yet. No, the tailor. We don't have a tailor. There's a zero there. That means we don't have one. Uh, we can build this next to the uh, tailor. 
It will have the production cloth close, so that's a bonus. It has a road link. It also needs coal, so we might have to get into some coal production in the area. And it wants a depot. So let's start with this. Let's start creating this. Then we could also build a charcoal kiln here that will help out with the production here as well. Let's expand the road here for a bit. And then another thing we're going to do is make sure we get all the bonuses by building a material depot here. Uh, that will ensure that all those buildings can store their goods, of course, and get their stuff, uh, get the maximum amount of bonuses. This one will get a depot in the vicinity. It will also get a bonus. Um, so this is this is going to work out nicely. Might be that this depot is not entirely in its space, but we'll see. Some of these buildings really have small space. I would like them to be slightly bigger, so you have just a little bit more options into where you place your stuff. Right now, sometimes you're pretty limited. All right, this is it. This is all we can dump. And uh, that's good. We've, we've dumped most stuff, so that's nice. Um, now, of course, it can be quite overwhelming with all the buildings and structures where you have been to keep track of them. Now, luckily, there is a button for that, like with the expedition. So these are all the expeditions on map. We can see we have completed some. Some are halfway done and some we have not done entirely. So... Um, there are ways of, to track all of these. We can see which are done, etc. So that's a nice feat. Um, I going? think we need to go to the bridge. I need to find out again because I don't remember from last time what we need to actually get going with the bridge. And then we might be able to finish this bridge and make Engine something running. nice there. And But that, if, we, if the bridge gets done, we can get across it, which will be a very nice feat. Start an expedition. No, this guy is not going to do expedition. Let's He's going to go. do some recon. And uh, for some recon, I just want to go as far down as we can, for instance, just to see what's on the map. Got it. It, will, it will uncover a lot of stuff. Let's go check here. Start this the expedition. Halfway intact. Yeah, I know. We already it? took a lot of stuff from it. But I have to check again what we need to get past this bridge. And as soon as we can get past, that will be very nice. I think we need a lot of wood, maybe some scrap at some point. So the what? hole here is yeah, small we need enough for 100 us to wood. It. Okay, let's get back into your car and drive back to base, which is actually not that far now that we have the extra access point here. Let's make sure... Oh, come on. Sometimes you select Engine your running. car, but it's still unselected. Let's go there, get some wood. Let's keep checking this. Right now, we have 21 babies. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, we have one worker to spare. Uh, so he can be in the tailor. No, no, you can be in the charcoal place. We need two there, actually. And then we can... No, three. And then we can get a tailor. Um, because that means that now we have to get... Um, charcoal first, of course, to make Where sure that the going? tailor can work. It needs charcoal. All right, let's bring in 150 wood. Uh, we'll bring in some 150 scrap, just in case. It could be that after the wood, we still need some oh, scrap or something to finish the bridge. Or an entirely different product could be too, so... We'll just take it along as a precaution and we'll see if we can now go out and, and, and do I'm something nice wheel. with the bridge. Right, you just go all the way there. Let's see how he goes, what road he takes, if he can find something interesting. I actually don't know how smart the pathing is. Will it keep running until it sees something that it can't cross and then just drive around it? Or will it try to go straight and then stop? I don't know that yet, so that's interesting. Engine running. All right, let's start this, this expedition. If you want to build a bridge repaired? and finish some stuff, you just have to walk up to it with the resources. We have the resources with us now. That counts. And then we should be able to uh, tell it to repair the bridge, or at least partly repair the, the bridge. See, there we go. It's now no longer red. So, yeah, Done. let's click this. Done. Now we need 100 scrap. Luckily, we took that. And now we need tools. Either 25 regular tools or 5 iron tools to finish this bridge. Okay. So we're not there yet, but we're getting there. Let's head back. Uh, we have... Oh, we actually have the tools. Nice. I thought we had to get some more tools, but we have them. Right, let's select I'm a vehicle. A you can always select the vehicles from this menu so that you know where they all are and how that works. That's nice. This guy is slowly going more up, so I think he already knows we that there's... Found a new zone. Ooh, nice. Take some blockage there. Here we have a zone with one swamp, one fertile ground, and one clay also means that yet we have not found a zone for instance with some iron 
which we might need later on. Engine so. running. All right, engine running. We have to take 25 tools. So I'm going to click this number down a bit and take 25 tools. Just what we need. I don't want to have all the extra stuff. If we can get this out, that would be great. Yes, we can. Let's drive back to the bridge. Then we Got can it. get across. Oh, that would be so cool. Love to see how that goes. Uh, oh, wow. We still have an increasing amount of kits. That is so cool. Foraging hut. Yeah, it's foraging, but we're moving out the foraging stuff a bit. So let's move a little bit over here. So that it can forage enough. We are starting to drop in water. So let's get the water carriers up as much as we can. And one more already did the trick, but we want more and more. We have to keep those numbers balanced. And you keep your eyes on the different numbers to see if this it all works and keeps working. Intact. Can we repair it? So I'll make sure that you have always some, some things available to switch your people around. Of course, you need water and food most so nobody dies. Might be a good option. Look at the water, by the way. This looks looks, very these graphics good. are very nice. Alright, there we the go. Oh, we finished the bridge. Uh, there's still some stuff that we can get from the other side, like this barrel. So I'll we do that look. first. Then we can end the expedition at some point. Yeah, there's more stuff to be gained here. So that's nice. And once we finish we'll all of this, it. we can really take our truck drive across and see what we can get out there. There are more stuff here. Look at all the Looks details and stuff. We can zoom in quite far as well. Right, we have it 100% complete, so we got everything from the bridge. So let's get back into the car, take the scrap with us. I'm at the wheel. And now our lovely car can get across. On the way, finding new zones. Got well, it. there appeared to be a big wall here, which usually is a big mountain ridge here, which usually means there is a zone there. So this will be interesting. All clear. New technologies unlocked. We got extra points to get further out if we want to, but we also research new technologies. Now you can see, now that the view is up in this area, we can't research anything because it says we don't have any stuff. That's not actually true. We do have a lot of stuff. We just don't have it in this area of the map. So we have to go to our town. Now click research. And now you see that all of a sudden we have all this stuff. And we are... Oh, we don't have clay yet. So we can't research that yet. We can research swamp farming. So let's do that. As we start to we make... Found a new zone. Oh yeah, Take we a look found at it when you get a chance. Let's make our it clay maker. It might be worth it to build a new settlement on it. So that we can get the clay going. We have clay in this zone. It's just a matter of finding the uh, the icon. Here it is. Totally missed it. Uh, okay, well, let's get going with the clay. There we go. I think we can just set up the whole clay industry at some point right here. But I can think what the best way for a road is. Probably this way and then... Like that, yeah. There's a little issue here, but we'll fix that. For now, we can probably just do it like that. So it's fixed and then... This should just be cleared out with something. All right, this works. Now we get a clay pit here. I think I didn't check, but it also requires a depot close. So yeah, let's build a depot here. Depot, depot, whatever. There we go. And then after we've started to collect clay, we have to get the um, appropriate industry for it, the brick maker. But yeah, we have to get 10 clay before we can research that. So that will take some time. New instructions. Now let's check this zone. Now we can see right here, this has two iron ore mines on it. So if we at some point want to get some iron, let's go. we will have to get across the map and uh, start to make sure that we um, colonize this zone to actually get some iron at some point. Now that will be something that we are going to need. So it'll be interesting. The good thing with this van is... Uh, we should be able Engine at some point running. to... Uh, oh, we got some iron from this. Nice. At some point, we will be able to make sure that we uh, can take people across as well and, and start a new settlement. So that should be okay. Ooh, expedition. Nice. Let's start the expedition. We have a lot of stuff on us anyway, and I this like those adventures. Still in good shape. Let's see what we come up with there. Okay, so this is well some done. sort of a store. That's interesting. Let's get the dumpster. Apparently, we can get through the door. There's oh, there's a car. There's these things here. Probably another. Uh, oh wow, some cloth and stuff. Nice. Right, let's check the car. More scrap. We got a knowledge point. Let's first check. Is there more stuff outside to be done, or is that it? it appears that this is it. Uh, no more stuff out here. I don't see anything up there. Oh, there's a ladder here that we can take. I'll do it. Maybe we have to get the ladder to get up here or something? I don't know. 
I doubt it. Looks it, interesting. But, yeah, let's bring it along. Let's try this door now. Might need uh, some sort of tool or lockpick or maybe the axe to break it open. So let's see what it says. Yeah, it wants the axe. With okay. bare hands. There we go. We should look around here for something we can use to force it open. Uh, let's see. There's a. I'll take this with me. All right, 100%. We got everything. Ooh, vaccines. Very nice. Uh, let's take along all the stuff that we can. We can't take this one, but um, we'll leave it there for now. We can always pick it up later. I'm at the wheel. Uh, I think at some point I would like to uh, get another van, but that's that's pretty far down the research tree, I think, to get to other vehicles. Yeah, see, here's that little mule. Here we have the Nomad and the Titan. So, yeah, bigger vehicles are out there, but it takes some time. So, yeah, let's let's wait with that. I'm not going to rush into that. All right. When's the next kit growing up? Real soon. We can see that we're not making enough wood at this point. That's due to the charcoal maker, of course. But let's get two extra lumberjacks soon. See if that fixes the problem. Uh, let's get this down to just the nine because we are good with that. And then I think in the end we just have to wait for a lot of kits to grow up. So that all these jobs get done that we already have standing out and at, get done as efficiently as possible and from there on we'll see right we can see this one isn't that smart so it just stops at a certain point and says okay i can't go further uh so probably a Got bridge it. somewhere here might be uh, we're producing too much water we don't know where else to store it okay that's fine Got it. i don't think we can build the cistern yet which is a basic storage place for it oh yeah we can build a water, Engine water storage running. Let's go with that first. Apparently we do need a water storage. Uh, let's start storing... Hmm. I'm not sure because I don't know which buildings would actually like that. This one just likes a depot, not a water one. Right, we'll build one water storage right there. Just to keep the water flowing in. So that we can store a bit more. But then let's start this expedition. This see what we need for this bridge. Um, can we repair it? I would kind of like to get to all the I'll different zones area so there's three major areas we have one already discovered where we have our main the base hole here is small enough for oh, wow. us to bridge Iron. it yeah that's not gonna work out there's we'll a barrel do. there though so pick that up let's get this car done let's just pick all the resources we can and then we go for something else because we don't have 25 iron yet i'll pack that i'll pack that nice uh yeah let's bring all of this home here's our Connection point, anyways. Where are we going? Well, right there. This guy bought some goodies too. Let's get everything out as far as we can. There we go. Very nice. I must say, it is a lot of work um, maintaining all your cars all the time. It really uh, diverges from the um, T work area. Oh, the wood cutter has a completely empty out area. Interesting. Right, let's go over there. I thought we also had the forester up. Where did we place that then? Taylor. Foraging. Oh, we don't have the forester yet. We need a forester then. Um, yeah, the tree nursery. That's the thing. It just needs a road link. So, uh, Oh, this it can't be built there. But I've made a little boo-boo with the road here. So let's get rid of that little part. Now let's see if we rotate this. It will actually fit right here. No, it just won't. Okay. Uh, because I would like the nursery. Oh, we can get the nursery up here. And then change the zone to out here. Because the lumberjack is here, the woodcutter. Uh, the further out you go with these uh, radiuses, if you go out here, you get a 1.3 time delay. So it takes them longer to actually get the wood. So if you can keep this point in the inner circle, they will work most efficiently. Um, so if we can get the tree nursery to start nursing trees here and grow them, that would be to our benefit, I think. What's this? Ah, it's activated, so I don't know why there was a question mark there. Some of those structures need uh, to be told what they should be making and stuff, so that's sometimes the issue. Well, it wasn't the issue right now, so that's good. Let's get this stuff out. There you go. We got some extra tools and such. Uh, let's see. What is uh, Let's go. out here? Let's go. Exactly. Just find and search and see what's out there. 38 people. We have three people available. So let's start by making sure those three people do a job as well. 
Uh, let's get some clay diggers, for instance. And then later on, we will see what will be next. We did a research. So we now have swamp farming. We can get herbs, which should be nice for some medicine, I believe. Uh, we can't do... Oh, we can do this one, the pavilion. Boots the attractiveness of dwellings in its vicinity. I guess that's a good thing. We have the resources for it. Let's do that while we start to gather some clay so that we can actually... Uh, get this research going you know it requires 10 clay we don't have that yet uh as far as i can tell we have no clay at all because we just put in two people in the clay business so yeah that might take some I'm time the wheel. okay here he goes let's do the recon we can and maybe yeah we've probably already done that part uh let's go down here to the bridge and see let's if there's some go. more stuff to be taken out in these areas uh these are all cleared out as well so that's a good thing so what we could do now with our car is just start to uh yeah that's done so it will now continue to the next order try to clear out some of the buildings so that we don't have to take a look at that later anymore we still have 30 babies we are at the maximum population now so after this we won't be growing new babies um, so they just have to grow up and do all the jobs that we have available. I'm going to set this up to 10 so that we get 10 of those. We need two foragers as well. And then we have to keep our eyes on the numbers, see if they keep adding up, which I New really hope. Still an area here to uncover, so let's do that. Let's yeah, go. we already took everything from this area. Is there something down here that we can discover, uncover or whatever? Yes, there is let's this go. area. So let's go there. These buildings are done. Let's go. It is now time to just make sure all the stuff that we have set up is built. So the tree nursery is up. And we are now going to tell it to nurse trees in this area. Because this is the exact area where this guy is working now. And as soon as those trees are starting to pop up, that will be... Very good for us. Now, this is making tools. We need an extra worker in here to get as many tools as possible. New instructions. New instructions, yeah. Bring in the loot. Those are the instructions. That's all I want from you. There's more loot here. Got it. Might be some loot in here. That's why the icon is there. Could also be that because of the... Uh, yeah, let, if we loot the ruins... Let's get this out. There we go. That was that one. Let's now, if go. we go here loot the ruin we can see that it made some of this or we did not take it last time so now we do now you can see the um take loot icon also disappeared so that's a good thing let's go let's go right he is now doing some recon here let's go as far down All as she clear. can and then go here and then go there let's see if he can do that and he do different orders at the same time the old shift i'm just trying it now I so he finishes this one now he goes up there and then he should go down here so then with shift, you can give them multiple orders, which is a very handy thing. Right, let's start to uh, get these goods out. Very nice. It's a nice addition, especially in the beginning, if Got we can it. get those tools in. And the wood and stuff, so we don't have to get it all. Right now, we have a good wood supply, and it's running up. Might need some more cloth, though. Scrapyard's okay. Maybe we can use another workshop, so that the uh, workers will make us more tools and we make use of all the scrap that we have could be could be something a swamp farm let's go with a swamp farm we rotate this building yeah but it doesn't matter it's five by five um a depot and a rope link well oh, wrong type of soil oh it needs to swamp <laughs> of course i said three times swamp farm and then i don't go to the swamp uh here's the swamp okay uh what i'm gonna do then first is just continue this road so i know where to build there it is then the swamp farm has to be placed on the farm itself and then later on we can make the area around it for the swamp farm so that should be okay um let's wait until it's done this one is set up now we have 10 out of the 15 workers in it so that seems to no not 10 we have six we seven eight nine ten the yeah. first drops have already fallen it looks like it could rain for quite some time. Okay, so we have no master builders. Well, that will be fine soon. We have rain now. Crops grow faster. Uh, we don't have that many crops, but um, it's nice. And you can also see that there are now these little lines over our area here in the map. I hope you can see that. That means that this area has rain. You don't see those little lines 
going um, vertically or whatever it's called uh, on this area of the map because here is no rain. So it, it rains in certain areas, not yeah, in all running. areas. So um, they make a distinction with that. Which is nice, so you could have some good weather in one area and some bad weather in another. But, uh, oh, that's fine. Just deal with it now. Right now, we're just trying Got to it. loot every area here. So, where's my buggy? Could be somewhere out here. Oh, there we go. I'm at the wheel. At the wheel, I know. Let's do some more exploration while we're at the wheel. Loot the ruins. Take all we can. Here we have that zone. Okay. There's something out here. Oh, yeah, here's more stuff to be uh, All clear. looted and such. Well, we missed a couple of very small areas here, but I don't really mind that. Um, why would I? We can uh, Let's go. check that out later. Right now, it's just, just going to go there. Let's keep looting. Yes, let's go to this let's factory. Go. And then... Yeah, we still have a few workers short. We need a couple more clay diggers. All the other jobs are done now, so that is is going well. Like a storage capacity, yeah. Then more food storages. Maybe we should build a food storage. Uh, yeah, food depot. So we can store some extra food. Um, for the long run, the more we can store, the better it is, of course. New instructions. All right, start an expedition at this factory. Let's see what These we can do out here. These are less damaged than the rest of the wastelands. Let's see what we can find here. We'll do right, some, I think, some copper or something. Oh, some glass. Wow. Oh, we have the blowtorch. Oh, ten of that and some vests. We'll pack it. Wow, there are a lot of nice goodies out here. And we're getting there. We're actually doing a lot already. So there's some stuff up here. Hit the space bar, you can see wherever things are that you need to get. But let's get up Will this do. ladder. Then we can get into this air vent. Now we're up there. Now we can take all of this. And that brings us to 100%. We got an encyclopedia. Nice. Uh, that's used when you find plants in a certain expedition. You can then find out what plants they are and, and what to use them for. Which is actually a very nice and handy tool. So I, I kind of like do that. It. Oh, we have to get in there. Let's go down. Let's get in the car. We can't take everything with us. Um, but yeah, we can take most. Upper. Uh, let's just bring this all. Uh, I do want the glass. So we can pick that up later. That's okay. Pretty close to where we are anyway. So uh, let's select our big I'm a thing. And get it over there. Now let's select our buggy. On my way. There we go. Let's just drive and get everything out. Might be soon time to start the next area, actually. I think I would like that. Uh, do we have a builder? Apparently not. So this is not being built yet. Do we have to clay now for the research? That's one of the big questions. Yes. So let's start researching bricks because for all of these we need bricks. We do have six knowledge points now. So actually, we can unlock all the next tiers. Which will lead us to an upgraded material depot. A vulcanizer, so we can get rubber. This will allow a lot of extra storage capacity. This is the water tower. A lot of water storage, which is good for droughts. We can get to some actual farming for food. We can get to the upgraded food depot. To the pharmacist for vaccines. The bathhouse, boost the attractiveness. The pharmacy uh, uses up vaccines, but it can provide medical supplies for the households. And we can get a park, which also boosts the attractiveness. So lots of stuff that we can unlock with that. And I think that's good. Looks like this is going to start to be built now. So we get a food depot and store some extra food soon. And then I think the next thing on the list will probably be... Um, going up here so do we get into the iron area because that's what we're going to need at some point some iron new instructions new instructions no not really but it's okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep the wood and the plastics and the scrap in here i'm going to take all of this out and i will actually fill up all of these 
We got a max. So with water, with scrap, with some food. Oh, that's all the food. That might not be the best option. Uh, let's go take a couple hundred food with us. And then wait for it to fill up again. And then we'll take the rest. We'll also... Oh, no. We take 50 plastics with us. Uh, gonna take 10 tools too. So that we can build a few roads on a new zone. And now we are basically preparing for a new area. Now we also have to take some people with us. We're not going to do that right now. I think we need to make sure that we have some spare people. Like if we have 10 people to spare, we could take those 10 or 20. But now we have the basic resources in here. And it also means that food, for instance, can now grow quite fast. Engine running. Now we also have some recon to do there. So let's do that with our van. Uh, find the other zones that are in there. Maybe we can find let's an even go. better zone. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's start preparations for a second settlement. Because I believe, especially with the research, if we go to th stuff like tools and such, we need to iron tools to actually make this. So, at somehow, we have to get two to iron. Iron mine, iron smelter. Otherwise, we will never be able to get iron tools. Um, we can produce it in an upgraded workshop. But in order to get the upgraded workshop is we have to go to tier 3 down here. So that's an interesting one because this is only tier 2 uh, but we have to get into the economy tier 3 to actually start working on the um, ecology tier 2. So we have to be aware of that. Um, and we also need some iron already for these researchers so have to have to keep that in mind. We have some natural latex needs so uh, it's not if you unlock all tier 1 researches that you can always do and build everything. Sometimes you have to get additional stuff in order to actually unlock everything. So keep that in mind. On my way. Game is not that easy. You have to uh, make sure you get all the right stuff. Alright, the bug is going to drive around. He's driving around. You're quite tempted to actually build a few extra houses so that we can get some extra kits again. Also need to save some space though for those uh, buildings that we've unlocked, like the pavilion. We built the pavilion here. You see, it has a large area, makes people more happy. That would be nice. So let's build it actually. Campfire, same thing. So if we build a campfire here, it would be beneficial. I'm actually going to stop this. Stop. Let's build the campfire here first. It seems to have a slightly smaller radius. And I want to rotate this building so it has, see it has the same size now. Let's build that one too. And we might also need a graveyard. Oh, that fits in nicely here. It will do nice for this area. But we need a few more tools for it. So we have to wait for that. Uh, but I think this will uh, help out with our town. This is nice. Alright, a van came here. I have to do my best to find new areas here, I guess. Maybe go down here. Could be something. Where are we going? Where are we going? Well, we are going to explore... So let's go up here, run Got around it. a bit, make sure that you explore this whole area. There we go. All right, let's see. Ooh, there's even missions we can do with these uh, big windmills, so that will be interesting. Ah, I see mountains dooming up here. That means that there is an area out here. Let's see how big it is and what's in it. That can be very intriguing. Ah, the campfire is built, so these people will be more happy. Happiness is a good factor. Okay. Confidence has an effect on the inhabitants of a settlement. If it's influenced by the settler's housing situation and external factors. If the level of co confidence is poor, they complain more often and might possibly make demands or leave the settlement. So getting it up is a good feat and is a nice thing to do. We can also give them we better shelter new zone. Take at some point, but uh, not right now. Let's see. Ooh, we found iodine and a swamp and some fertile soil, but absolutely no trees. So that might be a little bit uh, on, my way. on the downside, but that's all good. For now, though, we have been playing for over half an hour. We had fun. We've developed our settlement. We're getting better and better. And for the next episode, we're going to try and get a new settlement going. And of course, keep developing this one to ensure our survival. So for now, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much and bye bye.